Day 993 Frontline Update Welcome to the Ukraine Wireless YouTube channel, where we bring you raw, real, and unfiltered information from the front lines of the Ukraine-Russia conflict. If this is your first visit, subscribe and hit the like button, because each day we deliver frontline insights and updates that you won't find anywhere else. Day 993 of the conflict proved intense and unrelenting. Ukrainian forces faced fierce encounters minus 151 combat engagements, 70 airstrikes with 115 CBs, a relentless 787 kamikaze drone attacks, and 3,859 shelling rounds targeting Ukrainian soldiers and civilian areas alike. These figures reveal the scale of the conflict and the resilience of Ukrainian defenders on multiple fronts. Let's dive deeper into each sector's battle for the day. The Kharkiv region remains one of the most embattled areas. Russian forces launched eight attacks in a single day around Vovkanska Daika and Hayuruga. Three of these skirmishes are still ongoing, with Ukrainian troops holding firm under constant pressure. The Kupiansky direction saw Ukrainian forces heroically repel 12 assaults, standing their ground despite unrelenting Russian attacks in areas like Losovoy, Kuseva, Petrovavlivka, and Zagrizov. These targeted attacks came alongside heavy airstrikes, with Russian aviation strikes destroying Pikna, Kivsharivka, Boguslavka, and Zagrizov. Over in the Lyman sector, Russian forces launched eight attacks, attempting to push forward into Chernistan, Zarykny, Novohorivka, and Turnev. Ukrainian forces held the line, despite airstrikes raining down on locations like Sergivka, Novogorivsi, Yampolivzhi, and Turna. The resolve of Ukrainian defenders here has prevented a breach in the line, keeping Russia's forces at bay in this strategically critical sector. This direction also saw fierce battles in the Krimatorsk area, with exchanges in Stupachok and nearby Siversk and Zvanivka sustaining direct strikes as well. In the Turetsky direction, Russian troops attempted seven separate infiltration attacks on Ukrainian units. The towns of Nelipivka and Turetsk became hotspots, with Ukrainian forces repelling offensive after offensive. Russian airstrikes further pressured this region with bombing runs in Dashnogo, Toretsk, Mykolaivka, Petrivka, Kramatorsk, and Konstantinivka. The bravery shown by Ukrainian troops here underlines their determination to defend every settlement, big or small, in their homeland. The Pokrovsky front saw one of the fiercest days yet, with Ukrainian forces fending off 36 offensive actions across numerous settlements. Russian forces focused on breaking through areas like Suhoi Bolka, Pramenia Fox, Krutobu Yaru, Grigorivka, and Mirolibivka. Ukrainian soldiers defended their positions, maintaining borders with stringent defenses and repelling Russian advances near settlements such as Pushkin, Winograd, and Shevyanchenko. The Ukrainian forces' resistance did not come without inflicting significant damage on Russian troops. Reports indicate that Russian losses totaled over 400 soldiers with heavy equipment destruction. Two Russian tanks were destroyed. Three combat armored vehicles were taken out. Ten units of automobile equipment neutralized. In the Kurakiv sector, battle intensity peaked with over 40 combat encounters. Russian forces were particularly active around settlements such as Bereska, Ilinka, Novoselidivka, Sonsivka, and Kriminoi Balka with attempts to push forward. Despite Russia's aggressive tactics, Ukrainian forces stood their ground, with Russian losses in this direction amounting to. Two tanks, three combat armored vehicles, 13 units of automobile equipment were destroyed. In the Vrimis direction, Russian forces launched 10 separate assaults near settlements including Rivnopol, Novopil, Trudov, Konstantinopolsk, and Makorivka. Five of these attacks were swiftly neutralized by Ukrainian forces, while defenders continued to resist in other key zones, reflecting the resilience of Ukrainian troops determined to prevent Russian advances in the region. The Orihivs region saw three Russian attacks focused on Novodanilivka and Novandrivka. Ukrainian soldiers responded decisively, preventing advances and forcing Russian troops to halt. Russian forces bombarded the areas of Natalivka and Zaporizhia with four heavy Kabama airstrikes, but Ukrainian defenses held steady. Meanwhile, in the Pridnoprovsky direction, the situation remained stable, with no loss of territory or strategic positions. Ukrainian forces repelled five assaults here, and despite 20 airstrikes, they maintained a solid hold, reflecting the Ukrainian military's preparation and resourcefulness. Here at Ukraine Wireless, we're dedicated to bringing you real-time updates and in-depth coverage of every development on the front line. When you subscribe, you support this critical work, 
and by hitting the notification bell, you'll be alerted to every new report and frontline update.